We've got a uh, multiple question coming from a viewer, and actually a lot of people have written in and asked about this. It has to do with filler material, uh, specifically ER70S3, ER70S6, and ER70S2. And they come in both MIG and TIG. Um, TIG is in cut links and MIG is in the spool. But why would you use one over the other? There's not a, a huge difference in cost in the three, but there is a difference in them. And when you hear the term S3, for instance, I decided uh, I was going to pull out the information from a company called Harris. You can go online and get this information. It's really good info. Uh, you can find the chemical composition, and they have a very nice description of the filler material. So here's ER70S3. And just so you know, the properties are all the same in all of them. Uh, so the plus and minus tolerances is just minuscule between them. ER70S3, it's described as a general purpose welding wire for fabrication of mild steel. It contains silicon and manganese as deoxidizers. So it's got two different deoxidizers in it. And the only difference between this filler and the ER70S6, and this is also a general purpose welding wire for fabrication of mild steel, contains more deoxidizers than the ER70S3. And let's move on to the ER70S2. And the description is a premium multi-deoxidized wire produces high quality welds in most grades of carbon steels. E70S2 is a triple deoxidized wire which provides defect free well deposits when properly used on most carbon steels. So you can see the filler itself has 70 KSI tensile strength and the only difference is, is how is it wet out? Does it wet out very nicely? Does it build up? And the deoxidizers make the difference. So if I have a choice of the three, obviously I'll go the ER70S2. Thanks for your question.